Theodore Roosevelt National Park? What? What is going down, friends? Welcome back to the channel. I'm in North Dakota. What in the hell is in North Dakota? A buddy of mine found a national park, the Theodore Roosevelt National Park. So we decided to hop in the car, drive seven hours west, and check this thing out. We came to the Petrified Forest Trailhead. And from here, we obtained backcountry camping permits. So we're gonna start walking and hopefully find a camp spot, do some day hikes. Uh, camp out tonight, maybe find a different section tomorrow. Who knows? I got the next few days off. Let's, let's rock and roll, I guess. Theodore Roosevelt National Park was created in 1947 to honor and commemorate Teddy Roosevelt. There's a north unit about 70 miles north, the south unit, which is where we are, and then the Elkhorn Ranch unit. All three of those combined covers roughly 110 square miles, but it's open, it's vast, it's North Dakota's version of the Badlands, basically. I'm digging it. park is home to a lot of different wildlife from bison of course to wild horses there's badgers pronghorn elk probably mule deer as well so pretty cool we're in the petrified forest area and I came upon these rock structures right like this one and that one up there but these aren't rocks this isn't stone it's petrified wood. So these are trees from eons ago. Petrified, turned into a rock. This big stump, those up there, all trees. Petrified Forest Loop is about 10 and a half miles. We probably won't do that whole thing. Right now we're heading north to the north end of the loop and we hope to get on the south side before we make camp. And the only thing we have as far as an itinerary is we have a map and when we find a place that we think is cool to camp, that's what we'll do. However, since we're up on the high prairie, this is all graze grassland. There's a giant herd of bison back there. So if we camp up here in this area, we could wake up with neighbors. I think it would be cool. Justin does not think it would be cool. Oh, did I mention there were rattlesnakes? Yeah, prairie rattlesnakes, pretty active out here. So there's that. Another interesting note regarding water sources. Now in this part of the country, in this part of North Dakota, there's not much water here. Yeah, there's the little Missouri River that runs through, a couple of little bodies of water, but there's a lot of sediment, a lot of silt. I mean, to where, like if you cross those streams, it's like walking through a milkshake. So water filters don't work in the water sources here. So as limited as water is, you cannot use water filters here. So the park service highly recommends that you pack in your water because if you do use your water filter out here, no matter how good it is, it's gonna clog up in seconds and then it's useless and you could be without water. So pack smartly, bring enough water. Even though it's gorgeous, you can get in trouble pretty quickly. Thank you. 
got a herd of bison friends way down there, maybe a quarter mile away. Maybe 50 of them in that herd. So what I'm hoping is wherever we camp, they don't end up roaming to where we are. We wake up with them. It's possible. At least we know where they are. So, All right. so we got, got to our camp spot. And this guy just come up out of the ravine, mean mugging us. I named him Bryce. Bryce knows not to mess with this. Get the fuck out of here, Bryce. Yeah, Bryce knows. There's like another herd of bison roaming through. You can hear them grunting and growling. If it was dark and we heard that and we didn't know bison were here, it'd be like Stranger Things or something. It'd be, we'd be tripping. Let's get a closer look. Camp is set up. Um, the loop we did is 10.2 miles. We did about eight today, so there's gonna be only two miles in the morning. But the purpose for this particular trip is we wanted to be on a south facing slope because Justin, he's a photographer. He wants to take nighttime shots of the Milky Way, things like that. So we're hoping the cloud cover dissipates so we should get some really good photography, but it'll be late, like two o'clock in the morning, something like that. But brought the tent. That's the REI SL1 tent. Climate uh, static V uninsulated sleeping pad, and then just you know my 40 degree top quilt um, X ped uh, mega pillow. Um, so just a, an excellent um, ground setup. Best part about this spot. Check this out. Not too shabby. Over here, eating dinner, admiring the sunset. Bryce came back. He heard we were talking shit about him. He's 40 yards away. I don't like that. The plan is, if he gets aggressive, we're going to run down that cliff. <laughs> and hopefully he doesn't come after us. Bryce, you're getting too close. Oh, shit. Get out of here. Bryce is basically coming right up to our tents. We gotta get right on the edge of the cliff here. He is pissed. This is unsafe. Just go right up to the edge, cause he can't get down there. He's gonna come right up to the goddamn edge, isn't he? Stay right here. Get out of here, Bryce. Get out of here, Bryce. Get out of here. Go that way. Get. I mean, he's, he's right there. He's on the edge. <sighs> no, I hope not. Let's continue that way if we can. Oh, yeah, I got the worst shoes on, dude. <sighs> so he's he's starting to turn away. Now he's coming down the hill. Can you call the park ranger? Um, uh, obviously he doesn't want us here. Let's just stay quiet. Stay quiet. Let me go. He's turning to leave. I've had a lot of wildlife encounters in my day, you know, from all my times outdoors and hunting. Um, but that's scary. Plus we're in the rut, so they're all testosterone up, territorial. I don't get freaked out 
very much, but I'm a little freaked out, honestly. I mean, it's gorgeous out here, other than the threat of death up there. What I don't know is, is where he went. I, I want to come up and around and see where he's off to, but he might just be sitting up there. I don't know. He's not laying down. Hopefully he went back to his family. I'm thinking maybe it was a warning for us to, hey, stay away, stay where you are. I hope that's what that was. Um, that's a big, big bull, full-size, kick-ass male right there. Whew. All right, I'm going to try to scale up this hill. It's very loose in here, and it's a sheer cliff behind me. And I'm videoing because I'm stupid. So he was over there. I see Justin's tent. I see my tent. So, whoa, Jesus Christ. Bull is still up at camp. There's another one on its way. I called 911. I've never called 911 before. Talk to emergency dispatch and they're gonna contact a park ranger. They, they have our location and they're coming, but this is weird. I've, this is, you ever experienced anything like this, dude? This is kind of crazy. Um, ranger's gonna call me back, hopefully in the next few minutes, so. This is, this is wild, man. Just got a phone with Ranger Webb. He told us more than likely he wanted to come in because he was curious, maybe express a little bit of dominance. Um, but more than likely, he'll just move off you know, after 20 minutes, a half hour. Um, but we're not eliminating us getting help, Ranger Webb coming out here, and then we're all just hiking out of here. Um, we'll see. I just don't like when 3,000 pound animals roll up on a brother, so. Well, Ranger Webb is actually on his way out here. Uh, we can still hear the bison fairly close. Um, it's a bit freaky. Blood's going, heart's pumping. Uncomfortable, and I'm looking forward to nighttime. Would I be able to sleep? Probably not, honestly. Um, I see a behavior like that in an animal that big. <sighs> Makes me nervous. So, Ranger Webb's coming out here. He's going to escort us out of, escort us out of here and... Uh, Find somewhere to, to sleep tonight. <sighs> All right, we got about, uh, it's just, uh, it's like 1.1 miles out from here. Okay. Um, it's pretty flat once we get this section here. Did you guys do the loop or did you? Yeah, we did side? the loop. Yep. So you haven't done this side yet? Nope. Oh, wonderful, because this is the easy side. Okay, good. <laughs> uh, literally, yeah, we'll do like a quarter mile and then it's like flat off across the plateau okay. and then we drop down that same section that y'all came in uh, where the trail lies. All right. Um, so we'll do that. Uh, well, I will let you guys lead the charge. We'll follow the trail on out. So we'll follow those and I'll just bring up the rear and make sure that we don't have anything. Again, I'm Ranger Webb. All right. Uh, I appreciate it. All right. And uh, thank you. morning, if you can just give them a call and tell them that you're out. All right. All right. Thank Cheers. you very much. You guys have a safe Much appreciate evening. it. Appreciate it. Yep. Have a, have a good night. Hey, Justin. You survived. You survived a buffalo attack. Found a, a boondocking spot. We kind of camp right next to this guy. Um, really cool dude. He flagged us in and said, "Hey, I got plenty of room, um, but we're safe. Um, no bison in this area." Um, Ranger Webb, really good resource. That that guy really what was on it. Hindsight, would we have been fine? Probably, but in the moment, you know. Things don't necessarily work out rationally in your head, but we're safe. Um, I think it's uh, 11 o'clock right now. Midnight back home, we're actually in mountain time. But uh, um, Justin's going to crash in the car. I'm set up here. I'm going topless tonight. No, no rain fly. Uh, I know the Milky Way is rocking right out there. I'm going to bed. And then tomorrow is a whole new adventure. <sighs> wow. See you in the morning. Good morning, friends. It's about 8.40.
gorgeous night. Slept fairly well. Our camp host, Steve, he's on walkabout this morning. Really nice guy. That's his tent right there. He's been out here for a little while. He's got a few more days left. But his campsite's pretty, pretty sweet. So I think we're probably gonna shack up here one more night. But today we're gonna do a 14 mile scenic drive and kind of bebop around there. Um, which is okay. Justin's feet are kind of destroyed because uh, his backpack weighed 73 pounds. Camera equipment. <laughs> Uh, just to recap from last night, it was harrowing looking back on it. I'm doubting myself if it was the right move or not. In the moment, it certainly felt like it. Um, but that doesn't matter now. Um, Ranger Webb was kind enough to meet us out there and escort us out. I know Justin felt a lot better for that. But we're safe. And uh, no bison hooves stomping down in our backs. That's funny. All right, so we're on the Loop Scenic Drive. What do you think so far? That's all I got. Meh. Back at camp, the sun is out. It's only about 75 degrees, but the wind picked up. Uh, actually, it's four o'clock. So the loop was nice. We kind of hung around Medora for a little while, ate a little bit of lunch. And uh, the plan for tonight is to do actual nighttime photography uh, and not have encounters of the hairy kind. getting on towards dark just been hanging out at camp I'm down in the canyon and our campsite is up there I'd like to thank you for supporting the channel and watching the video if you haven't already uh, feel free to subscribe it really helps me out if you do and actually watch my videos it helps out a lot hit the like button I'm glad I came out here. I was due for a few days out, just out. But again, I'm glad you stopped by. Be sure that you get outside and enjoy this big, beautiful world. And I'm gonna call it for this trip. I'll leave you with a sunset and some pretty sweet astrophotography. We'll see you on the next one.